Okay, so here's the deal. My wife has had this 2009 Toyota Camry for a little less than a year, and already the horn is, is going bad. So, here I am to the rescue. Oh, and it's kind of ironic that uh, she doesn't use the horn that much, but still, it's going bad. So, I'm going to replace it. Okay, it should be noted that most cars have two horns, actually. A high note and a low note. So together, it gives a car that big American car sound. And it's actually just one of the horns is going bad, but I'm just going to go ahead and replace both of them. Uh, and I'm going to swap them out for a better brand anyway. Fiam. Alright, so uh, I'm going to get started. Okay, so I'm going to show you what, what it sounds like now. Okay, so you probably couldn't tell on the camera there, but it's definitely not as loud as it was when we first bought the car, so I'm going to go ahead and replace them. Okay, so there's the high note horn. I'm going to go over to the left here, and you can see the low note horn. That one's hiding just behind the emblem. Okay, so I just unplugged the low note horn, the one that's good, so that I can see how the high note horn sounds, and that's the one that's, uh, that's going bad. Boy, it sure is a tight fit, that's for sure. Got to loosen the nut on the back of the horn. Come on. There we go. Let's <sighs> see if I can get it out of here. The uh, post on the back is preventing it from coming out. Man. All right, the problem here is that post on the back of the horn is not its not enough clearance to get this thing out. I don't know how I'm going to get this thing out. Okay, that was definitely a trick. I had to uh, put my left hand through this opening here and then, and then with my right hand feed the horn over to this side where there was a little bit, you know, a little bit more clearance over here. This is... The one that's failing right here, as you can see, it's made by Denso. All right, so now I'm going to remove the left one. There you go. Yeah, this one will be easy to get out because this is where I got the other one out, right through this opening. Okay, that's the other one. Okay, I got myself a little problem. Um, as you can see, this one, well, maybe you can't tell, but this one's a little bigger. And there is not enough space to get it in the way I took out the other ones. So, I'm going to have to remove the panel, the splash panel underneath, in order to, I'll have to feed them from below. Looks like that's the only way. Underneath here, I've got to loosen that nut and that one. That way I can get above this thing. This has two terminals and this one only had one terminal. Got to put a jumper wire on one of these terminals. Doesn't matter which one. Jumper wire like this. Then I have to make sure when I mount it to the bracket that this hooks onto the back of each one. Okay, I loosen that panel on the bottom, but the only problem now is my arm's not long enough to reach from the top while feeding with my left hand from the bottom. So, I've got to get my wife to help me. There you go, I got it. Awesome. Next. And feed it to the same spot because it won't fit. Excuse me. All right, got them in. I just got to tighten them. That is tight enough. All right, now the other one. Enough. 
Okay, and the last step is to attach the wires. If only my hands could fit through here. Nothing, nothing's ever as easy as it seems. Wire go. Make sure it's on there good and tight. Alright, good. Okay, you gotta attach a wire to the other one. This one's trickier. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. Cause this thing's in the way. Hmm. If only things were that simple. Well, I'll figure something out. That was easy. I just, just bend the terminal. And now it's at an angle that I think I can get it on. And there we go. And it's on. All right, all I have left now is to put the plastic uh, splash guard uh, back on, and I'm done. All right, I'm all done with the installation, but there is one more thing that I need to do, and that is I need to take the car out to somewhere uh, in the middle of nowhere where it won't bother anybody, and I need to give it a good... A uh, 10 second blow if I can and the purpose of doing that is to make sure that the fuse can handle the amps from from the new set because I don't know if the new set uh, has the same is rated for the same amp draw as the old ones did so I got to make sure that the electrical system can handle it and I'm going to take it out to the countryside uh, away from houses away from traffic and give it a good good long blow so here it goes okay there's no cars coming I'm gonna go ahead and blow here it goes All right, there's my 10-second blow. It, the electrical system can handle it. That's perfect.